What's up, everybody? What's happening, man? Right here again in the boom room with my boy Maserati What's Black. Up, What's baby? happening, baby? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. good. Yeah. Good? All right, man. We good. finally got him back on, man. We finally got him back on. In the boom room again right here at Gully's Barbershop, man. Y'all got to check it out. Keep subscribing. Hey, uh, uh, keep watching the videos, man. We're going to keep giving you live, straight, direct stuff, man. But I got my boy with me, Maserati Black. We're going to hit him real hard. hard. We're going to hit him real hard today. That's what I'm talking real about. Hard. That's what I'm talking about, man. Hey, hey, we started off last time on our videos talking about R. Kelly. Now we want to talk about the victims. Yeah. The victims and yeah. how everything got started with the victims Definitely. and how they, you know, everything about the victims, you know. What do you what, what what is your whole take about the victims and what went on? Well, you know what, this is one thing that we have to pay attention to, especially when R. Kelly made a big, big opening eyes to everyone. Yeah, that's you know, true. That's you know? true. That's true. And and I know that personally, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a victim of growing up with a father that was abusive. So yeah yeah, 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 you know, so yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it ain't just the women, right? That get twisted, right? I feel you, I feel you. Us men do too. Okay, okay. But you know, I grew up with a father that was very abusive to my mother. Okay, okay. But I can tell you this though, it made me not want to be that way to women. Okay. So it changed my life. Okay. So I I, I can't say that because it changed my life that. Some people is going to, you know, should change their lives, too. And they, because it's a different with being abused okay. as a man. Okay. And sexually abused as a woman. Okay. You okay. know, I mean, when you're a woman, you 10 and 12 years old and been sexually abused. Yeah, that's true. So you think, you think R. Kelly was, was, didn't have a father? You think they didn't look at him as like, he wasn't a father, uh, he didn't have the father, or he saw his father... Well, you know, I think what it is with, with, with R. Kelly's situation, with a lot of men's situation is, as a man, and we get abused, sexually abused by a woman, yep. people yep. clap, you know what I mean? Right, right, they right. like, oh, shit, you, you in, you, you know right. what I mean? Right. Right. But when it's done to a young lady or a young right. girl, everybody ready to fight. That's true. Well, you know? well, the father wasn't ready to fight. Well, no, you know what? That's a different type of father. Because okay. I'm telling you right now, if it was my daughter, yeah. Up in R. Kelly, uh, whatever, studio, whatever, <laughs> I'm burning that son bitch down. Everybody in that studio coming up out that motherfucker. I'm sorry if people have been talking about the way we've been cussing on here, but hey, hey it's YouTube. Right, right. We're going to give it to y'all. Right. Right. But you got to come up out of there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I don't give a damn how many kids up in there, my kids coming out. I feel you. So he got, he caught the right parents. Right. With that bullshit. Right, that's true. Caught the wrong parent. R. Kelly would have got his ass killed. No, now, now with the victims, like you know, going into R. Kelly's house. I right. Mean, if, if, I mean, do you feel like the, the father or the mother should have stopped it earlier, or, or they just let their daughter just do whatever they want, the hell they want to do? Well, you know what, man. To me, I mean, it starts at home. Okay. You know, I mean, if, if your daughter know you don't play that bullshit, then she know not to be going. <laughs> over no grown ass man house, you know what I mean. So it starts at home. So me personally, I feel like, and I don't know these people, so don't y'all be tripping because I don't know these people. You know, <laughs> if I don't know them, I ain't going at them like that. I feel, but I feel. but I just feel like you know them people, they should have had more control of their daughter. That's true. That's you know, true. That's they so they should have had more control because she, she you should know don't be going over no grown ass. You got damn right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but you know, it's so sad though, man, is when these girls are victims mm -hmm. of sexual hurt, sexual assault mm -hmm. True. at a young age, right? It hurts them long terms with relationships. So you think you think they turn into hoes? Well, no, I'm not gonna say they turn into hoes, because that that'll be putting them out there like a motherfucker. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but what I am gonna say is, man, that it it affects their relationships with men. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know that's what I'm saying? Because they don't really know how to have a relationship because they've been so damaged. Right. You know? Right. But you got to get help. So you think they should get help or, or Kelly should get help? Who? I think they all need to get help. <laughs> you know, unfortunately. Well, you, know still, you know those two girls are still there, right? Yeah, well, those, those two girls, they, they damaged. You know, they, they, they damaged. They, they, they damaged. Yeah, they, I mean, it, it's a different with being 
damaged mm-hmm. and just being destroyed. <laughs> okay, them kids just destroyed. You they didn't destroy Oh, man. my God. Man, they, you know, I mean, this, man, hey, it's a sad situation. So, but as of right now, that was your daughter. She's 22, 23 years old. Mm-hmm. She's with R. Kelly right now. Mm-hmm. How would you feel? What would you say? What would you think? Well, if she left him, went with him when she was past 18, ain't nothing I can say. Okay. That's you true. know, ain't nothing I can say. But I know uh, if he had been fucking with my daughter and she 15, 16 years old, I don't want to go to prison, but shit, I'm going to go over my child. <laughs> I know that's right. I mean, that's some real shit. I'm with you on that one. Yeah, or Kelly should have got in that with that shit. Like you say, I would have ran the car up in that house. You would have done that. I know. Because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to you, you love your baby, man. But it, it, is, it is sad, though, man, because now you got to understand, these girls are going to grow up to be grown women. True. With problems. Okay. And every time us niggas out, we, uh, we start fucking with bros and... When they tripping, the first thing we love to say is they crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They you know, we yeah. quick to say they crazy. They're crazy, yeah, yeah. But all the time, a lot of times it ain't just about them being crazy. You know, it's about them having issues growing up. That's true. That's true. You know, that's true. Fucked up in here. You right. You, you right. You right. You right. Hey, you know, you know what? Let's say for instance, like ten years from now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. These two ladies, they don't broke over to R. Kelly, and they go on about their lives. Mm-hmm. Let's say you run into one of. Mm-hmm. At a club, right? Mm-hmm. And she, you don't know her name. You see her. She done got older, look different. Okay. But still beautiful, still a nice lady. Okay. And she wants to talk to you or whatever. And you find out that she was the one that was with R. Kelly. Do you continue to talk to her? Well, as a grown man that I am today, I would know that she's damaged and I know she's hurt. What is she going to tell you? But I mean, as a young man, I would have continued to talk to her. Ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but as a as an older man that I am today, you know, I know that everything that you meet with a person, every person that you meet, everything starts with the way they grow up. Right. That's true. Okay. That's true. So let me give y'all some game. Okay. <laughs> this shit is free. <laughs> when you meet a woman, okay, ask her about her upbringing. That's true. It that's would true. tell you everything about her. That is true. Okay? Yeah. Now, I ain't saying she got to have a father. Because, unfortunately, some people didn't grow up with no father. That's true. But they do have to have some type of male figure in their lives to show them what a good man is. Because a lot of women don't know what a good man is. Yeah, you got You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But now... This game ain't, ain't just for women, niggas. I'm going to get y'all some, too. <laughs> hey, speak to them. Okay, then you know what I'm saying. Speak to them. Speak to When you meet a woman, you ask a woman how her upbringing is. Okay? It, it goes both ways because okay, a person's gosh. upbringing is going to tell you, if a man don't love his mama, he ain't going to love your ass. Woo! It's deep. You okay? hear that? You hear that YouTube subscribers? Okay. <laughs> if a nigga, okay, just real talk. And if a nigga treat his mama bad, he gonna treat your ass bad. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, I believe that. This shit is free, free you game. You got free game. That's I just, free game. I tell you what, you I I, I, I know, remember one time we was in the barbershop and we was talking about, and I said most men, I think, probably ninety to eighty percent of men. Have been molested at a younger age. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Because because it's always been the older woman that have actually messed with the younger man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because our age group, the girls, they didn't talk to our age group. No, they talked to older men. Right, the right. They always did. They had the car. Right, right. They always did. Yeah, and it's so funny you said that because we sat back and we talked about that many times. How? Yep. It was. Yep. It was. That was just normal. Niggas like E Love, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Myron, all these type of old ass niggas. They fucked with little young girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. But but yeah. they was in their 20s. Yeah, that's right, that's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So that was the era. People were cool. Hey, Myron, I'm sorry to call your ass out. <laughs> but anyway, but uh, you know, that was just the era and shit, you yeah, know what I mean? True. That's true. But uh, it, it, it's, it's a different time now. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So now, you start fucking with these kids today, you need to go to jail. You ain't lying. Cause, hey, you know, because you know, you know, uh, 
like like I say, I was. Uh, I, I mean, my, you remember I was telling you I had some problems with, with relationship problems, right? Back in right. The day, so, right. I <clears throat> like. We, I know we speak about certain things about women and, and men and how we want to be treated, how they want to be treated. But you know, like when a woman, when you take a woman out, I don't, I don't know. I'm just asking. Okay. When you take a woman out. And you do things for a woman. Do you expect that woman to do something for you? Well, I mean, I think it, it works uh, both ways. I mean, if you're taking a woman out and you're showing her a wonderful time, then it's nothing wrong with a woman taking you out, showing you a wonderful time. That's true. Because let me tell you now, if you take a woman out and you spend all the goddamn time, that's right. And you don't never, she don't never have to spend. Right. Well, when you get into a relationship with her. Why would she spend then? Right. You're right. And there's no reason to spend in this relationship because, nigga, you've been spending the whole time. Right. Right. So now you're mad. Yeah, you're mad. You get mad because you feel like... But you can't be mad at nobody but yourself. Okay. Okay. Because that's the way you started that relationship. Right. You know, when you start a relationship, okay, here's some old motherfucking game. <laughs> Give me all this shit Speak to my okay? words. Speak to You know, <laughs> a relationship is 50-50. Okay. All okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Me and my girl, we 50-50. Okay. We don't, we don't trip on anything. Okay. Okay? So, that's the way a relationship is supposed to be. 50-50. Mm -hmm. Okay. You okay. take her out, she take you out. Because all you're doing is just respecting each other, showing each other that you care. That's right. For each other. Speak to them. Okay? That's motherfucking free game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like... I because, you know, I, I, I have a problem with women not being considerate. It's kind of like... Oh, that's like, terrible. Yeah, because it's like like sometimes, like every morning, sometime in the morning time, I wake up and I I take a lot of women that I know. They're, they're friends. Not, a lot of them I don't. I'm not in a relationship with. They're good people of mine, friends of mine. And I sit up and I say good morning. And sometimes I see some women at the club. Mm -hmm. I buy them drinks. Mm -hmm. it, am I wrong to be to be wanting to be treated the same way? No. Nah. No. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. You're, you're not. You're not wrong at all. You, you see, here's how the game go. Once again, motherfuckers, free game. <laughs> Speak, so my Charlie, you niggas for this shit. <laughs> but, but once again, man, I mean, when being considerate. Thank you. If if a woman ain't considerate on the outside of the bedroom, when well, she ain't gonna be considerate, motherfuckers, in the inside of the bedroom. Woo! Let me say this that. shit one more time. Yeah, repeat shit is that. Deep, okay? yeah, yeah. Repeat Listen that. to this shit. <laughs> if a woman ain't considerate outside the bedroom, then the bitch ain't gonna be considerate inside the bedroom. Woo! That's deep. Okay? That's deep. It's real game. That's man. deep. Shit, I'm quit giving you this motherfucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know? But for real though, man, I mean, we we have and and, it, and it's not just we ain't gonna just put it all on women. Okay, all right. We're, we're okay, we ain't going to do that. What about the men? We got we to talk about the men's too. Okay, all right. Because they so ass thirsty. Oh. You know. So they're going to do everything they can to get the ass. Now, once they get the ass, ladies, now they're going to slow down. Oh, okay. Okay? Because now they're going to start really for what they should have done from the beginning mm -hmm. was to see what you're going to bring to the table. Okay, okay. Okay? okay. Right at, at, from the beginning... They ain't even thinking about what you bring to the table. Okay. They thinking about getting that ass. So what if they get the ass and you say they back up from that? Once they get it, they back up. Oh, once a nigga get that ass, then you're going to see the real nigga. So what what if it's... So basically what you're saying is not that good. Well, no, I'm not going to say the ass ain't that good. I'm going to put y'all out there like that. I ain't going to say that. But what I'm going to say, though, my nigga, is, is, is that, you know, niggas, they think with the wrong motherfucking head. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, once they release, mm -hmm. then the head up here start kicking in. I feel you. I now they thinking like a grown man. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now they're going to come to you more in a, in a totally different way. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. You know, and then the first thing the woman gonna say, "Nigga, you changing? You ain't the same anymore." Yeah, bitch, cause the nigga done fucked. Yeah. That's why that nigga changed. Shit. So you know, I appreciate that. That helped me out, man. I needed to hear that because you know what I'm saying. I, I sometimes I get into my little feelings sometimes, and I, I, I want the same thing. If I do something for a woman, 
I kind of want, not saying the same thing back, but I at least want to, I want to want that woman to be considerate. And I appreciate that. I, a lot, now I know, I feel a lot better knowing that, that, that I'm not expecting the same, but I want something in return. Well, I mean, it's the small thing. That's right. You know? Right. If I go out and spend $250 on my girl, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that I want her to spend $250 on me. Right, right. I nah, mean, don't get me wrong. I would like that. Okay. But that's okay. wrong. Oh, he's see. Okay, because okay, right. you're doing it for the wrong reason. Right, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was that motherfucking nigga doing shit for the wrong goddamn reason. <laughs> you know, but you learn, you grow up. So, it's just about being considerate. You can take a nigga to Taco Bell, spend $5. He's gonna be happy in the month. Right? Yep. Some because, beer. And yeah, because he think you're thinking about it. That's right. That, that's all it is that's about, man. Is. You know, I, 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 mean, I, think I, about I, I appreciate that, man. I needed that. Man. Oh man, yeah, hey, that's, 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 you know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you already know what that is. Like that. You know. So, so, so let me let me ask you this. So, so you know how like uh, we know like we, we sometimes like you said earlier, you say you need to ask a woman um, about their background, their upbringing, and you you say. Uh, because it, it determines what type of woman you're dealing with. Right. And do you feel like a lot of women out there has been molested? Man, it's, it's more women, especially in my era in the 50s, that because back then, you know, people didn't talk about it. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, Uncle Junior and Uncle Earl and right. all them uh, whole ass sure. niggas. Yep. You know, I, I, all that. Hey, he love. I wouldn't call you no whole ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but real though, you know, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? When... When women uh, feel like, you know, they've been violated. Yeah, true, true, true. That shit sticks in their head. That's right. Yeah. Now they grow up as grown women. And especially if you don't get no help. Yeah, that's true. They need some help. You know, you don't right. get no counseling. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people think go to the pastor. That's the worst <laughs> one to go to. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing about you, pastor, because I don't know y'all like that. So, okay? But I, I think you need to go and get professional. Professional help. You know, somebody that's got a degree that went to college for four and eight years and really, you know, got some background to, to deal with this type of shit. Right, that's true. You that's know, true. Because this shit is terrible today. Right. So, so you basically have had an experience. Oh, man. Fuck yeah. Shit, really? man. Hey, listen, let me tell y'all. Yeah, tell them a story. And we ain't putting nobody out there. Don't okay, put nobody we ain't putting nobody out there. No names. No but names. we don't know you like that. Okay. No names. No names. But, you know, with me dealing with someone, uh, you know, and I was, a, I was a young man. I've dealt with many women that was molested. Okay. But at the age that I was back then, I thought they was just crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's true. Most of them do. You just think they're crazy. That's you know what I'm saying? That's so true. But, but. As a grown man, now I look for the shit. Hmm. You know, I got a girl, so I ain't got to look for the shit in the moment. <laughs> but, uh, and she wasn't molested. So yeah, my yeah. mind is straight. But when you was young, you had one that was like that. When you was young. Oh yeah, man! I, when I was young, I had several of them like that. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's yeah. always somebody close in the family doing that old booty shit. Yeah. Did she try to hurt you though? Yeah, man, motherfucker tried to hurt me, man. <laughs> you know, I had some of them hoes try to hurt me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We had a lot of you motherfuckers trying to fuck off your boy, Maserati. Maserati. Yeah, you know man. Yeah. But, but, you know, God is good. Yeah, yeah, he, he can change it. Yeah, he really can, you know. And, and and like I say, though, you you have to really talk to people before you start, you know, calling them and Getting in a relationship is what y'all motherfuckers want to call yeah, it. That's true. You really got to know somebody, man. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around, get yourself put in a pine box. <laughs> Ooh, shit, shit. Hey, you think it's hard to? You, do you think they they let you know? Do you think they sometimes they? Well, no. Nah, you know what though? It's so interesting you said that. If you a nigga with game, nigga, uh-huh. pay attention. Okay. Yeah, you're right. They gonna tell you what the fuck is going on. Yeah, man. that's right. That's true. All you gotta do is listen, nigga. <laughs> yeah, More game for Maserati Black, baby. That shit is free. So <laughs> charging you niggas, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. my goodness, man. Hey, man. Hey, this, hey. you know you know what, Black man? We got to do this more often, man. We got we to gotta let the people know. We got to bring, bring you Black. More, more Maserati. We got to bring you Black, man. You, 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 you're an inspiration, man, to these people that's out there, man, that's listening. Well, you know what, what it is, is, man, and, and we had a lot of people on our last video that, that uh, yeah. hit us and 
gave us T-shirts and hats and shit. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You know, I want to shout out to Buddy High. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's yeah, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just think like this, man. You know, y'all love each other. There you go. Okay, respect each other. There you go. Now we sit up here in this booth and, and we talk a lot of shit. Right. Right. You know, but right. we're not trying to offend anyone. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want no one to be offended. You know, we just trying to get ratings on this motherfucker so we can get a check. <laughs> you know? But really, though, man, we love all y'all. Oh, yeah, most Especially of the victims. Yeah, the victims, man. We got to need to pray for them. Yeah, because we talk about R. Kelly too motherfucking much and not enough about the victims. That's true. That's you know what so I mean? True. We, we got to so start true. talking about the victims because those are the people who's going to suffer. Yeah, in the long run. Yeah, and then yeah. they're going to beat somebody. And then them motherfuckers going to suffer. suffer yeah. So that suffering shit go on. Yeah, relationship to relationship. Okay, so here's some more game. Suffering motherfuckers make other motherfuckers suffer. Say it again. Did y'all hear that shit? Monster Roddy Black. I'll get this shit to y'all one more time, okay? <laughs> I ain't saying it no more. If you meet a motherfucker and they suffering, eventually your ass going to suffer. Okay? Like I said, baby. <laughs> You can you from hear from no other from Maserati Black man. Anything you want to say to the people, man? Before we get out of here, man, what's up? Well, you know, I want to say that y'all fuck with my nigga right here. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know you what I'm saying? We do that that you comedy thing going yes, down sir. there. Yes, that, sir. That, you know. Yes, sir. So you know, we love y'all. Yes, sir. And don't y'all take this shit offensive. That's right. You know, I had some motherfuckers calling me and shit, being offended and shit. <laughs> I ain't calling your name out. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, you know, we, we do, though, man. We do this shit for fun. That's right. We do this shit for a check. Right. That's right. We get, we get that check. <laughs> but uh, on the cool, though, man, we love y'all. Yeah, keep watching, y'all. Right here in the boom room, man, I got to bring my boy Maserati back. The boy is bad. Maserati Black, man, in the boom room of Gully's Barbershop. We'll holla, baby. Peace. There you go. There you go. Already, nigga. We love this shit, nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, square ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm tired of your hate ass niggas. Woo! Hey, shit. Hey, dog, we got that.